So USA Today has taken a look, um, and you'll remember some months ago the President claimed that he was using executive orders, quote, at the lowest rate in more than 100 years. And then USA Today looked at the fine print, and yes, 195 executive orders, less than Democratic and Republican predecessors, but when you add on 198 presidential memorandum, it actually turns out he's using a lot more executive action than his predecessors, right? Well, I think there's no doubt that the President has sought to use his executive authority uh, to move this country forward within the confines of the law, uh, oftentimes in the face of congressional inaction. Uh, that I wouldn't disagree with. But why did he make this public claim that there's this criticism that I'm acting on an executive basis and I'm, act, I'm doing that, you know, less, the, the lowest level in 100 years. That wasn't really true, right? Uh, it was true because the level, the number of executive orders that this president has issued is lower, uh, as you pointed out, uh, than executive orders that have been issued by many of his previous predecessors. Presidential memorandum have essentially the same effect. It's some, called something different, but the fact of the matter is that he's taking a lot more executive action. Why would he? Uh, there, is, there is an important difference between executive orders and presidential memorandums, but I would not, uh, uh, but I would grant the premise uh, that the President has used every element at his disposal uh, to try to move the country forward, and he has done that uh, in a way that is consistent with the law, that is consistent with precedent, uh, and is often carried out in the face of uh, pretty rigid congressional obstruction.